there life part number four how is everyone doing this is healing hands i hope you all are doing okay um welcome to your monthly life path reading um guys please remember to subscribe to this channel about 75 percent of my viewers are not subscribed i don't know some got unsubscribed by mistake i don't know what youtube is up to but a lot of people have had to go um resubscribe so please check and make sure that you're subscribed um make sure that you hit the notification bell right you know on my profile on youtube and um please like the video if it resonates with you or makes any sense for you in your situation life part number four let's dig in guys so your energy or predominant energy that you'll be dealing with or working with or that will be in your environment for this month is the energy of belonging, acceptance, and assimilation. And here is the quote. It says, the primary joy of life is acceptance, approval, the sense of appreciation, and companionship of our human comrades. And this is by Joshua Liebman. Now, what this is saying is that our sense of belonging and acceptance by others require affirmation. Even peer recognition and acceptance is a compelling motivation and reward for our participation. To that aim, we may have to demonstrate to some degree our allegiance. Some communicate their allegiance and commitment through body marking others by more transient expressions such as your dress code, or their dress code and fashion, and still others by their conduct or mannerism. Whatever the form, all are variations of the same basic objective, namely a confirmation that I am this and I belong. And in turn, you are this and we accept. So there is a heavy energy around you being a part of a tribe, you being able to transcend, you being able to acknowledge your true self and accept your true self and make sure that people around you are also accepting you for who you are. We can see that the flamboyantly coughed female, she modifies her appearance with a disguise. Can you see the disguise? All right. And that's in order for her to assimilate. So the masked beak that she's wearing on her face it transformed her visual persona and her poise and means of posture further confirms her spiritual transformation she is at one with those she has joined somebody is ascending somebody is finally transforming all right there is a transformation that is occurring in your life at this time life path number four and in our enthusiasm and desire for acceptance, we must be careful, remember, to stay true to ourselves. Are we really comfortable with the me that we're claiming to be? Or is it strained, forced, and will it ultimately be sustainable? Or is it unsustainable? So whatever this new transformation that you are embodying, life path number four, make sure that it's a true reflection of yourself. And the transformation is not because, you know, you want to have a sense of acceptance or a sense of belonging, but make sure that you truly assimilate what the transformation means for you to ensure that you're stepping into your truth, all right? And you're truly ascending, as this card is suggesting. Awesome. So it looks like some of you are, you know, um, finally stepping up, finally taking a, f a step forward is what I'm picking up. But guys, we pick, I did um, ask spirits while I was trying to get into you all's energy, trying to find out what is this all about? What is um, life path number four going to be dealing with? What are the energies that will be playing around, you know, playing in their environment? And try to explain what all this is. And we got the seven of pentacles. So guys, the seven of pentacles, you see this woman? Can you see her? She's plucking apple from a tree. Okay. 
So seven of pentacles is all about assessment. It's all about reward. It's all about change in direction. So obviously, whoever she planted the tree and now she's plucking some and trying to assess the work that she has done so far. It's a time for her to re-strategize, all right, to make any needed changes that will make sure that the fruits of her labor comes out perfect. Okay? Awesome. This energy is the energy of a turning point. So some of you spiritually have gotten to a turning point. And I keep feeling you've turned something on. There is something that you've turned on. There is a light bulb, bulb moment that you've just stumbled upon. All right. So she's going to reevaluate whatever this is, figure out how to make it better. Okay. It's all about appraising results of all your efforts and finding them good. But in case you're not finding them good or you're dissatisfied with the outcome of your actions, all right, it's time for you to change direction. But always remember that no matter what, you're meant to live your true, authentic self. Okay? Live in your truth. With regarding to whatever situation or decisions that you are making that has to do with your happiness, that has to do with fruition of long-term goals in your life now the next energy and this is taurus that's in case you're dealing with taurus but it has a very heavy strong saturn energy attached to it and you all know saturn is like the father of the um planets it's a very very restrictive planet saturn it represents structure responsibility and ambition and naturally, Saturn rules Capricorn, so it's more comfortable in Capricorn. All right? But with regards to Taurus, it looks like there is a, a you know, there is an, a, a placement in your chart, in your natal chart or your astro chart that is being activated this month. All right? And you could be a Taurus or you might be dealing with somebody who has a very strong Taurus placement in their chart. Or it could be you. It doesn't matter. Okay? But then you have the nine of um, swords energy, which is all about somebody. I call it my sleepless, up all night, just thinking, overextending yourself, and just asking yourself, did I make the right decision? Or did I make the wrong decision? Which is why Spirit is saying, trust whatever decisions you're making. Make sure that it's forward movement and you are okay. And you're stepping into your true, you know, truth with whatever decisions you're making. All right? When you're re-inspecting, make sure that you're satisfied by the decisions that you are making at this time. All right? The nine of swords is that heavy energy of sleepless nights. Um... I don't know if I can, if I made the right choice. There's vulture here. There are bats or whatever this is. It's somebody who is somewhat in mental analysis paralysis of, I don't know what just happened. It is the power of worry and regrets over you. Okay? It is severe nightmare. Or it could be problems with insomnia. Inability to sleep because you're up in your head thinking. This is a Gemini energy. All right? And of course, you guys know Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And Mercury is all about communication. It's about our thought process. It's about how we communicate with people, how we expect to be communicated. So whatever this sleepless night is, it may have to do with some kind of communication. Um, Maybe the way... Because you're blocking your ears, like maybe it's a way that, you know, you've been communicated to or the way you've communicated to somebody that has led to maybe some kind of ending. Because I'm seeing the vulture, and you know, vulture usually will appear um, 
when there's a carcass, right? When there's a, a dead, when somebody's dead. So I'm picking that energy of, you know, communication that, that wasn't, you know, that you, you're not confident. You're, you're analyzing in your head if this is right or not. This is okay. But spirit telling you, stand in your power. Stand in your authenticity. All right? If you're making decisions that is as, as leading to some kind of ascension for you, trust in that decision that you're making. Of course, the next energy that we picked up for you guys, life path number four, is the world. Okay? The world. And this indicates a major ending. It's about walking through life with confidence. It's about creating harmony and magic with every step. See her? She's confident in her decisions. She's confident about the direction she's going. It's all magical to her. It's like, yeah, light bulb moment. Feeling more certain, but not quite ready to step out into the world yet. Might also be another meaning of this card. All right? S somebody who is still probably doubting themselves. Not sure if they made the right call. It's a card of arriving. It's a card of life. It's a card of spontaneity. But it can also mean incompletion or feeling empty or you feeling like something has not closed yet. There's still need for you to say something. There's still need for you to close out something. This world energy is all about integration. All right. All about accomplishment, involvement, as well as fulfillment. All right. And this is a Saturnic energy. Saturn also. All right. And Saturn, like I said, I'm thinking that there is a Saturn, Saturn placement in your chart. That area of your chart where Saturn is, is acti being activated for you. Whatever the case may be, life path number four, you have an opportunity to ascend. Because there is now a light bulb moment. I'm looking at the light surrounding this woman. And the confidence with which she's walking forward. She doesn't care. That she has all these birds. She's flamboyant. She's like, yeah, she has her chin up. As some sort of inbuilt confidence with regards to a decision that somebody has made this month. Or somebody will be making this month. All right. Guys, I'm going to pull a few more tarot. Let, I mean, let's see. This is Let's see what uh, message we're going to get from this deck. Holy Spirit. Archangels. Higher self, collective consciousness for life path number four. What is the message that is for life path number four at this time? What other messages do we have for life path number four? Spirit, we need clear, concise messages. All right, it's a bunch of cards and I'm not going to take any of them. I'm going to put it right back and reshuffle. Okay, so we have luck. Your luck is about to change. So, you know, what I always tell people is when we are sending, when we make the right choice, the universe will reward you. And Saturn is all about restricting you and waiting for you to do the right thing and then rewarding you for that. It's like that father figure that you have that, that will say, okay, when you pass this class or this examination, all right, I will buy you a car. So if there is an area of your life that has been lingering, a decision that you're needing to have made, that you did not make, that you're now making, all right, it's turning something in your life. It's changing something. All right, so there is favor for you this month. There is luck. All right, so something you're telling you your luck is about to change, either in a relationship, with your career, with your business, your investments, Whatever this is, it looks like you've triggered some kind of, tra you know, transition or some kind of um, forward movements. Oh, my God. Now we're taking all this, really? So it looks like somebody, or you or somebody, dealt with a situation where the grass looked greener, but it's actually artificial. So you probably, this is, it tells me there's some kind of illusion. And this is a man and a woman. It's like an illusion of something that you thought, you know, made sense to you that did not. All right. 
and it's interesting because it's also coming up as a green. So that cycle closing out, and here it's saying greener. So green, green, something closing now, something ending. You started in your power, making a decision is going to bring about a change of luck for you. You're going to be rewarded for that singular action that you took. Now, the next class is jumping to conclusion. So there's something here in your energy, we say, which is telling you, do not jump into conclusion about something this month. Make sure that you are sure before you make any moves. So that when you step into it, you're stepping into it because you know for a fact. All right. And you know that that is exactly the right thing to do. Don't do anything because you feel like, you know, you got to do it hurriedly or swiftly without really understanding the implication of your action or actions. All right. There's something here saying materialistic. So you may have been dealing with such an energy or it may be you. But it looks like there's somebody in your energy that you probably are looking at as materialistic or that is looking at you as somebody who's materialistic. And I'm seeing, you know, somebody who's just focused on money here. Now, there is a card of self-judgment. All right. Some of you may be struggling with your sense of worth at this time. Asking yourself, you know, um, did I make the right decision or right choice? Or I don't know. Do I feel good about it? Your self-worth is in question. All right. And so it's like, don't do that. Make sure wherever, wherever you're going, you're stepping into your power. You're walking with confidence. You're actually truly assimilating and, you know, happy that you're moving in this direction. Now, of course, there is past life karma with somebody that you are dealing with for sure. All right. So it looks like you've closed out a major cycle when it comes to a past life kam karmic person that you're dealing with, karma, all right? And I, I just got a message that just, you know, I just forgot it right now, all right? But it looks like there is something with regards to past life karma that you just closed out successfully and you're getting rewarded for it, okay? You're going to get rewarded. You're getting good luck. Somebody in your energy is a past life person or past life job or something that has to do with a calm, karma or karmic debt that you something you needed to complete that probably you haven't done all this while that you just finally did because now it looks like you're ascending. And then this one says tapping into energies. So somebody, like I said, is getting enlightened, awakened. All right. Is finally understanding assimilating, transcending, making tough decisions that the universe has been expecting you to make. All right, we're regarding grass looking greener on the other side when it's artificial, with you being able to usher something in without self-judgment. All right? And seeing a situation for exactly what it is and not thinking you hurried up or jumped into conclusion with whatever this is, but to have confidence in whatever decisions that you are making. All right? So somebody, somebody's finally tapping into their energies. All right? Figuring out what they need to do and doing it this month. A situation that, to you, may have been chaos or chaotic. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is crazy. So some of you may have closed out a very chaotic cycle with somebody or something or a job. Some level of transformation has occurred in your energy and is shifting everything for you towards your happiness, okay? And this could be happiness materially. It could be happiness in terms of being able to attract a partner or being able to attract exactly what you need in your life at this time, all right? Something that may have kept you blocked or stagnant. All right. Now we have another card like, you know, spirit can never lie. <laughs> spirit can never lie. Trust me. In case you don't believe what they are telling you, they'll bring up more cards to tell you the same thing. Here it says pinnacle of success. It says you are on the brink of a significant career achievement, expansion or change. There is some change that is happening in your energy. All right. You're finally tapping into and stepping into your energies. 
All right. In the reverse, it says in the public eye and it says actions you take now are evident and will impact your status and reputation for better or worse. So there is a decision that you've made. All right. That will lead you to some kind of change, positive change, something that the universe considers achievement to be. All right. That will probably help with if some of you have been looking for a job, significant career achievements. Or if some of you have been looking for some kind of recognition at work, it will lead there. Because I always tell people the decisions we make in our relationships, it can affect our money. And the decisions we make with our money, it can also affect our relationships. Sometimes we're meant to, you know, stand our ground and we don't. And when we don't, Saturn, especially with, you know, since this has to, a lot to do with Saturn, <laughs> because Saturn obviously made itself known like uh, uh, you know heavily in your reading telling you i'm that restrictive father all right i'm that father that who comes to your house to visit you and i'll be a pain in your rear and until you come home you're gonna come home early you're gonna do this as you're meant to do it or else you don't get this and it doesn't matter how old you are all right, they will restrict you and keep you, you know, held down until you do, you pass that class, that test. Once you pass it, it's like you get a pass mark. Pass mark, all right? Seriously, I'm not trying to take 20,000 cards because I'm, I'm really not trying to do a long reading. For real. Can't keep throwing four, five, six, seven cards. Ah, spirit. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Thank you. Oh, Lord, no. I just want one card, please. I'm going to shuffle three times. If nothing comes out, I will pick from on top. Thank you, Spirit. One. Two. They want to bring it out in, in a bunch, and I'm like, no. Three. All right. There is a card that I think flips here. Or am I mistaken? Yeah, right here. Okay. So there's something here alluding to multiplication. And it says deadlock in the reverse. So it looks like some of you, like I said, had been stagnant in a situation where you were being required to take action that you did not. So you've been in what seemed like a deadlock situation. All right. That has obviously impacted your money because here is the 10 of discs, which is the 10 of pentacles, which is all about money, 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 money. All right. It's about your money is being released. Something is moving forward for you. Thank you because you made the right choice, the right decision. 10 of pentacles is all about affluence. It's all about permanence. It's all about convention. Okay? If you go look at the regular tarot, it's all about wish fulfillment. Getting your heart's desire. It's about wealth. It's also about inheritance. Multiplication. So something that you put your money in or something that you're looking for is going to multiply this month. All right? And this reference is an earth sign. And that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We already picked up Taurus. We picked up Gemini. But there's another reference to um, Virgo or Capricorn. Somebody who has that placement. All right. But if I want to add up the number is 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 9 is 15. 1, five, one plus 5 is 6. And 6 is a number of harmony. It's a number of love. So this might have to do with love for some of you. Six is also a number of problem solving. It's a number of compassion. It's indicative of the lover's energy in the tarot, which is all about choices and decisions being made, especially if it has to do with a love situation or career. It also alludes to the devil energy in the tarot. And the devil is all about addiction, addictive behavior, lost, all right, unable to move forward. It's about... It's the energy of um of um um like I said addiction to something addictive behavior maybe even to a point where somebody you know fear also is what I'm trying to say fear 
Okay? But hey, it talks about dissolution. So I picked up the energy correctly about the world, about something ending, being dissolved, and somebody now going to shine. You will shine. Because what's going to be is going to be, right? And this, you know, talks about Earth in Virgo. So you might also be dealing with somebody who's a Virgo or who has a very strong placement of Virgo. All right? Or you could be dealing with, you know, like I said, an air sign. But here it says sixth house of health and work. So there's also an impact to your sixth house. Okay. There is reference to your sixth house, which is all about your work and getting rewards and also getting rewards in the area of your health. But this is an active, practical, extrovert energy. It's all about joy. It's all about solution or dissolution. Multiplication. All right. Awesome. Let's see if we're picking up any other energy for your um, life path number. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Let's check into and see what signs you are, zodiac signs you are probably dealing with. Now, if I don't pull your zodiac sign, it does not mean the reading is not for you. It just simply tells you if I pull the, your zodiac sign or the zodiac sign of whoever you're dealing with, it just tells you that pay attention closely to the message. All right. Something in this message will definitely apply to you. All right. Like I always say, this is a, a general reading. It's not a personal reading. So not everything will apply to you. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. I know it's not everybody who's going through whatever and ending. Who ended something. All right. It's not everybody. So this will resonate with some people and not everyone. Okay. So I'm still trying to get the, the sign of the person that you're dealing with. We will figure this out. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the sign? All right, what is the zodiac sign is what I'm looking for primarily. The life path number four is dealing with, aside from the ones that I mentioned, I think I mentioned Virgo, Gemini, there's Cancer, there's Taurus. Um, is there any other signs? All right, we have all the houses. We need the signs. You might be dealing with somebody who has a strong Pisces or somebody who has a strong Capricorn placement. And I always tell people don't get hung up on the signs because all of us have a little bit of this zodiac signs in our astral or natal chart. All right. I have Capricorn. I have Pisces. You too. You do. You might find out that, you know, you probably have both of them. Uh, well, it depends where it is. Is it in your 10th house, your 8th house, 12th house, 1st house, 6th house, 9th house? Or do you have Chiron in Capricorn or Pisces? Or do you have Cap uh, Capricorn or Pisces moon? Or do you have Capricorn or Pisces, you know, North Node? Sagittarius, another Sagittarius placement in maybe any of these houses or in any of this uh, this uh, this um, planets. There's something about Saturn. We can't make it up. Here it says discipline, structure, time, responsibility, tests, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container. All right, bones. Maturity, gravity, scaffolding. So, obviously, Saturn had to make itself known to you. Like, listen, there's a Saturn placement in your house that is being activated. Also, I got this energy when I was premeditating of Jupiter. And Jupiter is all about expansion, about wealth, about abundance, about rewards. Okay? So, of course, with the cards that we picked up about, you know, you getting some kind of reward for putting in an effort... It could also be a Jupiter activation. Um, also Cancer. Okay, so we have a bunch. That will be it. After this, I'm not taking anything. 
there's a Venus placement. There's also a Leo, even third house. There is a Libra. So listen, it's either you or whoever you're dealing with have this area of your chart that is being activated at this point, all right? It could be activation of your 9th, 6th, 1st, 12th, 8th, 10th, or 3rd house. So go check. I'm sure you will have one of these placements, one of these um, signs there. Either Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, or Libra, okay? And it could be your, sun, your moon sign, your Chiron. It could be your North Node, Saturn, Jupiter, or Venus and it can have any of this conjunction and for those of you who understand astrology you will understand what I mean it's coming up as a conjunction which is talking about empowerment also about opportunity a sextile about balance and about flow this cannot be more positive there's no opposition here so I rightfully said there is an area of your chart that is being activated because you closed or ended a cycle all right. Now, let's see which life path number you are probably dealing with. I like to pull 12 cards. Some of them come out more than once, which is okay. But when I get to 12, we're done, right? <laughs> it doesn't have, I don't have to pull every life path number, but I'm sure it's either the zodiac will resonate or the life path number will resonate for you. All right. Holy Spirit, Archangel, you guys were bringing this thing out, all right, in bunch or bunches. Now, why is it not coming out? Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. Let's get the life path number that life path number four is probably dealing with. Want me to keep pulling? Okay, we are done, spirit. Okay, let us see what life path numbers or number you are dealing with. Okay, so we have a life path number nine, another nine, a life path eleven, a life path four, life path one. Life path seven, life path eight, another life path one, another life path eight, eight, all right? Life path five, life path three, life path seven again, life path one again. And then there is a Mars or Aries reference here. All right. And something that happened around the spring equinox or will happen around the spring equinox or during Aries season or something. All right. Reference is something that happened in Aries season here or a life path number four. Okay. Guys, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you got something out of this reading. I hope it made some sense for you in your situation. If not, you know what to do. The description box below has my information. If you want to book your own one-on-one -on -one private reading, I'm more than happy to help you narrow this down and figure a solution for whatever problems you're having. Um, if you need additional clarity, okay? Um, also, the link to my Amazon wish list is there down in the description box below if you feel like you would like to buy any deck or anything i have there i always enjoy receiving new decks for those of you who have sent something thank you thank you thank you some of you have not mentioned your name so i can't even call your name out some of you just send it to me and you don't even care to receive any accolades so thank you guys now um the link to or the, the id to my paypal and my cash app is also there in the description box below the video. But above all, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Remember to like this video if it makes any sense for you. All right. I'm pouring all this energy and, you know, love into your cup. Please fill my cup as well.
Share with your f family, friends, you know, anybody who is a life partner number four, send it to them, share it on social media, share, you know, WhatsApp, Facebook, it doesn't matter, Twitter, anywhere. Let's get it circulating so that more people can get to watch these videos because um, they're all divinely guided. And I thank, I thank you all, guys. Thank you guys so much for all your love, for all your support. Life part number four, you guys know I love you so much, all right? This is Healing Hands. Until next time, it is see ya and please stay safe and take care of yourself, okay? Bye.